Okay, hey y'all. So I'm going to name off three things off the top of my head about this iconic brand. And if you guess who it is before I start, put a rocket emoji down below in the comments. This iconic brand is a queen. She is the hardest working mogul in the industry and she is welcoming in a new era. Who is it? Hey, if you guess Beyonce, you are right. <laughs> So I really don't have to do this, but for basic research purposes, obviously guys, Beyonce is a thorough entertainer. She is a singer, songwriter, actress, top performer, and most importantly, she is a mom and a wife and a sister and many more things. Originally from Houston, Texas, growing up, Beyonce did a lot of singing and dancing competitions. In the 90s, she did join into a girl group originally called Girl Time. Over time, we know that the girl group obviously turned into the most best-selling girl group of all time, Destiny's Child. Now, during the time where she was in Destiny's Child, Beyonce actually did get into acting. I don't know if you guys remember the hip opera Carmen, but in the early 2000s, she did go solo and continued on doing bigger films as a solo artist and an actress. Now, you cannot think of Beyonce without thinking of work ethic. I'm a nerd for this, but previously I ran into an old marketing plan for Beyonce's album B-Day. And if you guys can see past my big head, but if y'all see, she was also during the rollout of B-Day, also shooting dream girls and doing shows and doing radio runs, shooting videos and all of these different things. The work ethic and the details of this rollout is amazing, impeccable. Beyonce's rollouts are so well thought out and intentional that it changed the trajectory of the music industry. Even when she dropped her surprise album, you see more artists started to drop surprise albums and those type of things, but it's not as well executed as Beyonce. And that leads me going into her new upcoming album, Renaissance. It is very surprising that she went back to like the old roots type of way of a rollout and actually announced her upcoming album Renaissance coming next month, which specifically speaking a day after my birthday, which is July 28th, but she dropped in July 29th. It is well appreciated. To be honest, I knew that this video would take multiple parts. So y'all go ahead and comment down below and get ready for part two.